So tomorrow, it's time for you to start that new project. I bought this property as an investment property, and there's a lot to do here. All right, well, it's not so bad, Tom. You made it sound really horrible. Uh, Sully, you wanna go show him? Show me what? So, is this a game show? Holy cow! Jurassic Park? <laughs> Okay, so, so, so this is, please tell me that this is the worst we're going to see here. So you were holding back on me? Maybe, <laughs> a little bit. Life on Mars, the home makeover show. I'm Mar Jennings, and I created six casual luxury design principles for renovating or designing any space in your home. My casual luxury designs are the answer to any design dilemma, and I'll show you how. So I'm checking off my punch list and the activities that need to take place. Then I get a phone call. They're tearing down the former pool. Now, it is important to note that when you tear something of that size and scale, something can go wrong. When, when the phone rings, it's either gonna be a success happened or something went wrong. And the phone's gonna ring on this renovation, this tear down in the back, and I'm just hoping it's gonna be a good phone call. So if this demolition demos more than just what we need and hits the main house, that's going to be devastating for the overall project, not to mention the original part of the 1920 house. If this does not go right, I'm done. I don't know what else I could do. kind of crazy about the teardown and the demo in the back, that former pool, but we did manage to tear it down properly. No casualties, we are moving forward. So now, as it's gone, we have to start from the ground up and rebuild a brand new foundation to accommodate the dining room, the family room, and the extension of the new kitchen. The most important component of this, it has to be seamless from the living room. So that means we can't take a step down, we can't take a step up, we need to walk right into this new addition without any sign of the path telling us there was a park here. So a lot of this stuff, you know, is going to be mulch area. This tree is going to be chopped all the way down. Yeah, so we're going to need to get this we'll, stuff out of here. Right, yes. right, exactly. Yeah. All right, so you might be asking, it's so cold, it's winter, the ground is frozen. But in actuality, we've had such mild days here. We have the top coat that is frozen, but it's not below the frost line. So we're going to break through the frost, which is about a couple of inches, and then we'll have access to the soil where we can plant everything that we need to plant. But other than that, I mean, it, this is a pretty traditional, straightforward application, no different than any other time of year, other than it's just gonna take a little bit more time to break through and get everything in. But they won't know the difference. We'll mulch it up and give them a nice little bed blanket. and blanket. Now, it's, I'll show you over here because we have holly uh, and the beautiful berries that really identifies uh, the beauty of a traditional holly. So we took the holly as a really important foundation of how we're going to repeat shapes and patterns. So we're going to introduce several more hollies, so there'll be some continuity in the front landscaping project. The Japanese maple was here. If you had to buy that today, that would probably be about $20,000 at that size. So that, we're going to make sure that it is incorporated in the overall landscaping design. So that baby is one of the anchors, as well as this beautiful holly. We very strategically went around and said, get rid of this, get rid of that, get rid of this, get rid of that. In doing so, we were able to free up the palette and identify where our holes are. And once we realized where our holes were, we identified, now we need to backfill and fill these areas. 
it will really give this consistent vegetation that will hug the house. And when that happens, you know, as well as I do, you know, it looks finished no matter what time of year it is, right? Absolutely. Because we spend a lot of time doing uh, evergreens with you as well. Absolutely. In fact, I actually have more boxwoods than you do now. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> So what do you think? I love it. This is going to be a very exciting project. There is so much to uh, itemize in reference to lighting on this project. Introducing the Ethan Allen Member Program. Special member pricing, complimentary design service, free shipping, and exceptional white glove home delivery. Unparalleled value and service on your every purchase, every day, on every handcrafted piece of furniture. Designed to help you curate a beautiful American home. Backed by 88 years of American design and craftsmanship. Ethan Allen, we make the American home. We are making great progress here, and as we come often as we do, we're finding that each time we come, there is a bigger step being completed. Right now, we have the subfloor on what will be a corridor, a bedroom, a bathroom, a family room, and then all the way off to this side, this is going to be our open kitchen concept. So this wall will disappear, and we will flow right into our brand new kitchen. So we have this very open concept. The kitchen is opened into the dining room and then we walk straight into the family room. We are going to have wonderful doors on each side of the fireplace. And this fireplace is not only on this side, but it's on the other side on the patio. So that's a nice detail that people will love. So open concept. We have the subfloor. The big transformation will come when we start framing and putting on the roof line and really addressing the existing roof line with the new roof line and making sure that all our water issues are addressed. Tom is very good on staying on top of things and of course when the town asks for one thing, he over delivers and that's how we like to do these makeover projects. We want to not just address the issue, but we want to make sure that we solidify resolution long term. Someone's going to love and adore this home and we want to make sure that they adore it and love it with no issues. And that's what we're proud about because we're putting our name on it. So what do you think? I love it. This is going to be a very exciting project. There is so much to uh, itemize in reference to lighting on this project because not only are we doing interior lighting, but we also have to address the outdoor lighting as well. So let's get started. Do you have a couple of good ideas for me? I certainly do. Candace has been in lighting for, I think, 30 years. She recently opened up her own shop in South Norwalk. So I was thrilled to help support her. So I knew when it came to this project and identifying all the different sconces and all the different lighting details, there was only going to be one place I was going to, and that was my buddy, Candace. We are in what used to be the entire kitchen area. This is the bathroom uh, powder room. Okay. So we're going to need something um, for over the vanity or two sconces. I think we're set up for two sconces. So you have the bathroom design, right? Yeah. So we're going to need something very narrow and sleek for this bathroom. Okay. And it's chrome faucets, correct? Everything's chrome. Okay. So as we're walking through the property and the interior design, I'm calling out, I love sconces here. I would love a chandelier here. One, two on each side because this is going to open in, in the center. And then on the back wall in the corridor, which I'll take you out a little later, I think we're going to need two more as well. That way she can get her mind going as to what would be the best light picture. Double sink, three sconces. Right. Okay. 
That way when I meet her in her showroom, brand new showroom that is, we can really pinpoint each design of each room and what those light pictures are going to be all about. And the story, the very important story, they're going to tell in the overall design. All right, so we are in the fourth bedroom, okay? The fourth bathroom is here as well. We have a corridor, laundry room, and then we have the dining room area, and then we have the family room area. And right beyond that blue tarp, that is our brand new kitchen. And you can see now everything starting to come together in reference to the framing and how the roof line is going to be really showing off, you know, this new area. And what I love about it is that this corridor and this opening here is going to have a lot of the same vibe and feeling of when you enter in the front door. Mm -hmm. So the nice high ceilings will be repeated again in this space as well. Beautiful. Okay, so the next stop would be is that I am stopping at your showroom. Yes. Congratulations with that. Thank you. It's really very, very cute Thank and you. great location in South Norwalk. So I'll pop in. We'll go through some of your ideas, some of the vendors that you've selected mm -hmm. that can partner with us, and then uh, we'll get going on it. Excellent. Okay, can we? you get the folder. Thank you. Okay, I get a hug. All right. <laughs> Thanks. And we'll All see right. you later. Okay. okay. <laughs> So I'm here to check in on the progress and I'm so thrilled. This house has four bedrooms and four ensuite bathrooms, which is ideal for new buyers that are looking to come into this area. Exceptional products, personal service. Galdstone and Landscape Supplies offers both professionals and homeowners one of the largest selections of natural and man-made stone in New England. From small projects to complete renovations and new construction, incorporating stone indoors or outdoors can completely transform a space. Visit our showrooms in Westport and Bethel for an interactive stone experience or browse our expansive stone selection online at galtstone.com. Galt puts you first. Hey, Ben. Mahar. How are you? Good, how are you? Good, good to see you. So uh, you're in bathroom number four. Bathroom number four, yeah, final stage here. I must tell you, I am so thrilled to be working with Nuhi. I cannot do a bathroom these days without installing Nuhi flooring. It seems to have gone from being just a traditional, it's nice to have, to really an expectation that it's a must have. It is a must have. And for any homeowner, it's one of those things that, you know, until you actually have it, you don't see it as a necessity. Nuhi is really a custom floor matting that is coils, and it's very precise based upon its measurements. And what I really do love about it is the fact that because it is custom, you could really go underneath the vanities because I hate to kind of step up to a vanity and have your toes cold. Is this going to be a shower here? This is our shower area. So yeah, we can heat that. We can heat that area as well. All the bathrooms. You cannot build a modern 21st century house without heated floors is what I do, is what I'm known for. So of course, my partners at New Heat, they are coming to the rescue. Now let's talk about technology because you brought this and this is pretty exciting because now in the world that we're living in, everyone wants to be able to use their smartphone, access, uh, they want to call it out. Let's talk about that. Yeah, so this is our signature thermostat. This is the, uh, the highest end of our three, our most popular one for sure. Mm -hmm. And right now this is the only thermostat on the market that is completely um, home automation friendly. So if you have an Alexa, a Google Home, whatever your system preference may be. Just call it out. Just call it out. Alexa, turn on my floor heat. There you go. And voila. Thanks again. You're the best. Yes, great seeing you. I'm curious to see some of the ideas you have in reference to the lighting because of course we come here and we get so inspired. When you came over, I really wanted to stay in a transitional uh, arena versus staying traditional 
or modern. That transitional is really becoming a focal point for a lot of prospective buyers and people really kind of like that classic style with a little bit of an edge. So I'm eager to see what you've selected yes. and so far I like what I see. So for the outdoor lanterns, beautiful. we uh, picked, this is from Quazel, and Quazel is very excited to partner up with Amar Jennings. So we are going to do this lantern. So we're going to do this around the whole entire home. We're going to do some larger fixtures by the front door and the garage, and then a smaller piece around the back. We are going to tie this in with the dining room. So the dining room, we're going to do black and aged brass. I love the lines because the house does have some really strong angular lines, yes. especially when it comes to the ceiling. So it's almost like we're repeating that right. vibe and the light fixtures that we're picking. And that's really what one of my principles are all about, repeat shapes and patterns. I thought it was a good idea to bring Yvonne along because she's certainly going to help manage a lot of these projects for me. And she has such a great eye when it comes to lighting. So vacillating back and forth and making sure that we had traditional and a little bit of modern lighting was going to be what makes this overall transformation so great. Bathroom. We're going to do three of these. Beautiful. This is also I the love. clear it's like a, a rib fluted kind of yes. uh, design. And that this glass is so pretty, and it also gives a little bit of a sparkle. Done, done, done. Mm. Check, <laughs> check. <laughs> All right. Okay, we're gonna let you go back to work. Now. Thank you. Okay, thank Thanks you. Thanks for coming. Thank out. you. <laughs> Now that all the lighting fixtures and the vanity pieces have been approved and selected, it's time to get back to Greystone. These bathroom reveals can't come soon enough. So I'm here to check in on the progress and I'm so thrilled. This house has four bedrooms and four ensuite bathrooms, which is ideal for new buyers that are looking to come into this area. This Fourth bedroom is really a guest bedroom, but I don't imagine anyone wanting to leave this space once they move in. It has a double vanity and an extra large shower area. So we have the tile that goes right into the shower area. There is no lip and we have a water closet at the very, very end. Let me show you the master. What sells a master ensuite? Well, plenty of closet space, checked, his and hers, and a beautiful, beautiful four-piece bathroom. What do I mean by four pieces? Well, we have a bathtub, we have a shower, we have a water closet, and we have double sinks. Check, 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 check. What we really want to reiterate in this design was, if you recall not long ago, we had windows, but we also had a window here to the left of the bathtub. By removing this window, which is simply the same size as this, created balance and purpose to the bathtub. Now you don't feel like you're in a fishbowl taking a bath. And it also really lined up the bathtub to be absolutely perfect with its own little vignette. It's those small details that takes us completely to a whole new place. Always when you're dealing with Mar. As America's top lifestyle expert, it's important for me to have a reliable mobile network. That's why I like Pulse Cellular with their premium unlimited wireless plans. Now that's amazing. The best part, if you sign up today using the promo code MARTV, you'll get an additional 10% off your monthly wireless bill for as long as you stay with Pulse Cellular. Switch to Pulse Cellular for the best wireless experience. While we continue working on the massive open concept addition and the integration of the new expanded kitchen location, we can step back and finally see the full transformation perfectly coming together. Meanwhile, the new ensuite bathrooms are completely finished. Take a look. My six casual luxury design principles totally transformed this new space. Bathroom one,
bathroom two. Whether inside or out, he's the guy. Six clever principles for you to try. Learn how. Bathroom three. Agree. Life on Mars is the place to be. Whether he tears it down, brings it to life. His principles. Bathroom four. Learn casual luxury, no agree. Life on Mars is the place to be. Represent Mother Nature. Embrace light and reflection. Natural materials and colors. Repeat shapes and patterns. Repurpose. Consider size and scale. They say kitchens and bathrooms validate a well-appointed home. When it came to this master bath, it was a disaster. But we had a good footprint. By transforming it and identifying all the important parts of this transformation, we truly scored here. A water closet, a shower area, a double sink, and even a bathtub. And of course, heated floors. The transformation began when we really started drilling down on what we actually wanted in this space. The results? Well, a true casual luxury master bath. Once again, it goes to show you how casual luxury has absolutely no boundaries and it works in any space, even a bathroom. It's truly the recipe and the footprint for any transformation. I'm Mark Jennings. Until next time, keep it casual. Next time on Life on Mars, the home makeover show, Greystone. So thrilled to be here and what a great place to come and shop. We have so much to show you. We're so excited to work on this project together. Not only are we doing visual transformation, but we're also digging very deep into things that you don't necessarily see, but are relevant in today's new lifestyle homes, and that is a smart house. And Thomas, so uh, welcome. We're so excited to get you in and to make this house smart. So Tom, the day has finally come. Did you ever, in your wildest imagination, Imagine that this day would finally come. <laughs> come on, my dancing queen. Hurt me. I'm waiting. Yeah, 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 yeah. You'll snap like a twig. All right, countertops are in. Backsplash, next. Then we pass the baton straight for staging. And then let's get this puppy sold. That sounds music to my ears. The music to your ears, I know. You've been waiting for this for a long looking time. For music. I know. All right, so we're all gonna play in this band because we've all been a big part Absolutely. of this band. And uh, of course, uh, now we can actually see what we've always seen from day one when we were standing in this space and saw that Jurassic Park Wild Kingdom. And now look at what we've created from that, right? I'm Mark Jennings. Life on Mars, the home makeover show, is proudly brought to you by Ethan Allen. They make the American home.